Welcome everybody to the Falcon One Shot on the agenda we have until I have you here today. This is a really, really visually pleasing game. The soundtrack is amazing. The story, the setting, it's got this whole cyberpunk, Neo Tokyo type of feel. Um, the gameplay itself does leave a bit to be lacking, a bit to the imagination, because it kind of plays out like one of the runner games, maybe a bit like Super Meat Boy as well, where the point is to get from one point of the stage to the other one. And the overall thing is you're trying to unlock more and more of the story and get to Emily, who's been apparently taken hostage. Personal, Locke. I'm about to do something questionable. Because of that, I will surely be labeled by the media as a mass murderer, a terrorist. Even worse, a thief. By definition, they only called you a thief if they catch you. On the other hand, I steal and never get caught. I'm an artist. Pause. I'm on my way. Resume. I found the means to my end. The exoskeleton. Dear Emily, here's hoping that they read this to you. Obviously, I've been consumed by work, losing sight of things and people. I've always kept a score, all kinds of statistics, quite the numerophiliac. Arrogantly, I thought I was a winner, top of the world. But we lost ourselves in the junk piles too, Em. I've written this time and time again. So many things to say, yet all of them sound wrong. It's as if the words cannot match the feelings. For once, I'm going to run towards something, not away. I've been running to running out of time. But I'm not going to stop. Are you sure it's... Yeah, 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 look. It's blinking. So, what does it do again? It's recording any movement and saves it as a holographic performance. Hmm, we could- We're not doing that! So, why did you get it then? Wouldn't it be nice, one day, when we forget these little moments, to be able to see them again? What if we were to do something totally unforgettable? You're impossible. Alright, so that little projector um, scene's gonna actually play on loop for a while. It's gonna change over time as you complete more levels as you progress forward. It'll change and it'll give you like more of a background of the story and the relationship between your character and Emily before I guess she went missing or got kidnapped. So let's go outside here really quickly. There's not much to do out here, however, it does show a lot more of the setting, which is just really, it caters to my 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 itch i guess you know i'm really into this type of shit right here so this is just really really awesome to me um in between stages and whatnot you'll be able to come back to your room and then, as i mentioned you'll see more of those stories and progress uh i guess the photos might change i'm not really too sure about this but this will change here as we go along initially i had no idea what this is all about there's 12 pictures over here 
But what I found out was that when you finish an entire stage, which means I'm going through all the little levels and beating the end boss of that stage, they're kind of like, the bosses are kind of like assassins, almost like Kill Bill in a sense, where you're essentially trying to kill all these people that might have had something to do with Emily's kidnapping and whatnot. So I guess you're getting revenge after, you're getting revenge on these 12 individuals right here. And then, if we come over to this side, we have a television screen. And this will give you more of insight as to what's happening to the setting and the overall story. So, let's check these out here before we get into the gameplay itself. A large number of protesters has gathered outside the office building complex of Neofaith. The riot caused a bit of traffic and trouble around the block, but that's about it. The events of last month have fortunately not been repeated. The CEO of Neofaith issued the following statement. We're glad to hear all opinions, and we always take them into account. And we'd like to leave the past incident behind us, promising to prevent with all of our resources any, violent or not, censorship of future demonstrations. Don't you deserve better than that old body of yours? Experience the future of prosthetics. You can stop the pain and discomfort with just one call. Neofaith, join the glorious revolution. Live tomorrow, today. All right, so let's see, we have our home over here. We want to come up to the chapter one stage over here. We have like one, two, three, four, five, six to go through, and then we have the end boss over here. I'm going to try to cover two entire chapters with this video, but I don't promise anything. It's only a one shot, so I just want to show you some of the gameplay mechanics and the overall story of the game itself. So let's get into stage number one. Alright, so let's get underway over here. So, the first one's gonna be really easy to get to that door in time. Uh, you could run in this game, you can just regularly walk, you have a bat. I'm not sure why I slid backwards there for a second, that was weird. Falling? What do you mean falling? I didn't fall. Minor delay. Um, every single level will have like different ways to kind of complete them, and then based on whatever you do in those stages, get like a completion, uh, completion percentage out of it. I'm not sure what really determines that, as you can see over here we have accidental falls, we have out of time, got killed, my rank right now is gonna be phantom for this one. Let's go on to the next stage over here. This one might introduce some enemies as well. Yeah, we do. Okay, good. So we have one, two, three, four, five enemies at the very least. Our bat's very strong, however, you have to get up close and personal. You also have a gun. And with this one, we'll also have to use a timer. So normally, early on, you can just go ahead and avoid these guys completely. You don't really have to take them out regularly. Just rush through. Down the line, though, you'll probably have to kill a few, but... It's like different ways you could kind of go about each of these stages. You don't necessarily have to follow one single pattern. And for this one we got, ooh, 100, perfect. Our rank is second to none, not killing anything, and no deaths, perfect. Continue. One, two, three, four, five. Now let's see, am I going to be timed with this one as well, or no? Yeah, we have a timer on this one. Okay, we have, <laughs> we have a moving platform this time too. Blah, 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 blah. There's also going to be like a slowdown feature, but we haven't unlocked that just yet right now. But it'll be coming up here pretty shortly. <laughs> okay, hold up, hold up. Run through, run through. Stop here for a second. Those things will kill you in one shot, by the way. Everything will kill you in one shot in this game. You have no HP bar to roll with over here. So it's like a one shot type of thing. Let me just blow these guys up so they don't really bother me. Bring him down. Got him down. Okay. I think there's another one down here, we got him, and ooh! Well, we skipped the last one, but we did get a few deaths over here. I'm not really too worried about my completion percentage here, so let's just um, proceed. 74 is fine. I just really want to get to the end boss to show you some more of the cutscenes, because I guess the game really, at least for me, resonates with the story and the overall like cutscenes, the atmosphere, the music's really great. So with this one, the timer is now gone. We can swap over to our gun and let me show off this feature over here. So we jump through here. Bring this guy down. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Okay. That one takes three. Humans take two. I think everything else takes two when it comes to the gun. Uh, the bat will be like a one-shot kill. So, 
It's just, it's just more tricky because you have to get up close and personal as well. <laughs> wait, wait, I died? Oh, come on! I was past that stage, my friend. I beg to differ. It's not my fault that goddamn door was closed. There's also a shield, by the way, so if you're being shot, you can put up the shield and it'll kind of, like, um... Soak up some of the damage, but not everything completely. But the music is just so goddamn amazing. Boom! Alright, so I guess we'll stop here and try to take this guy from afar. There he is. Not sure what happened the first time around. I guess the door just didn't open and that guy shot me. We got 57% only on this one. Eh. Being able to control time after a while, too. Like, the weapon of choice for this guy happens to just be a regular baseball bat, you know? Maybe it's not really a baseball bat, maybe it's something more... It kind of glows a little bit here. Maybe it's like a shock baseball bat or something. Okay. Let's be careful now. Don't want to fuck this up anymore. We got it. Alrighty. Not sure what stage that one was. We killed every enemy here, and we got 97% for that one. Good. Continue. We got the Head Smasher one. This is not boss fight just yet, right? No, not just yet. Boss fight is going to be kind of really interesting. I really like the first one. I've gotten up to, like, the second boss fight. So far, those have been really, really fun. And they all take, like, different type of, like, tactics and strategy to use as well. So it's not just kind of, like, go up there and just, you know, exchange blows over and over. Oh! Oh, we got it. Whew. For a second there, I thought he shot me. Perfect. Personal lock. The painkillers aren't what they were cracked up to be. Still can't sleep at night. I'm sitting in the car. It's 4.30 a.m. Suit just went into standby mode. Its software is updated. I believe the slow motion feature is being activated. So here's our first boss fight. <laughs> I love that he talks Japanese to you. The second boss fight actually talks in English, but this one over here talks in Japanese, but it ta he talks in Japanese for a reason. Once we defeat him, you will find out why that is. <laughs> This is gonna be itchy. I like that there's no subtitles too. If anybody understands this, please let me know what you're saying over here. This bunker seems shielded against V40 beams. That should come in handy. This seems to be the only place that could protect me against such firepower. All right, so let's see, let's see, let's try this again. No screwing up this time. Get this shot off. Let's see. Come on, my friend. Come on. There we go. Got him. Go back to our little bunker over here. Soon enough, we'll have to start using our little slowdown feature as well. I think once he goes to the middle... Oh, he went to the bottom one. That's actually the easier one. The middle one, you have to use the slowdown feature to get back in time. So, let's see here. With this, I should be able to cheese him from afar. There we go. We got him. Come back to the bunker. There goes that. Where are you at now? Top one, perfect! You're giving me the easy shots right now. When he goes to the middle one, that's a difficult one. We might, even, might not even have to use the slowdown feature, honestly. Although, I'll probably use it right now for the last shot, because the platforms do get faster, as you can see over here, too. Okay, where are you at? You're at the bottom, perfect. So... Boom! Oh, that's so awesome. It's gory, gruesome death. Alrighty, so we got this one done. Let's go into continue. Hey, 99%? Not too bad. Died once. As you can see here, the X is 
Well, that picture's been marked down. So we have another scene over here now. A ten. I'm not sure if there's any dialogue with this one. But it just seems to be like a recording of ourselves over here, calling possibly Emily. We've been calling and calling and she hasn't picked up. So this might have been when she was kidnapped, if I had to imagine over here. Music is so great. So pictures, let's check this out. We have one down, we have eleven to go. Sad news for anime fans, as the fan-favorite cosplayer Jason Ichi Ashcroft from past events at DreamCon has been found dead this morning. Reason of death appears to be asphyxiation and severe damage to his upper torso, both caused by presumably an unknown malfunction of his custom-made suit. According to his family, they will be suing the company behind the creation of said suit. Oh, <laughs> that's awesome! I thought he was Japanese. That makes it even better. He was basically like an ot uh, otaku. He was an otaku. Is that it? I was gonna say Otarukan. I don't think that's it. He was an otaku. So Jason Ichi Ashcroft. Okay, he was like a white, regular white dude, but he was like an otaku, so he was talking in Japanese. Cosplay. That's actually really good. I like that. I thought he was a Japanese dude, but no. The itchy kind of threw me off right there. This will start throwing like different enemies at you. It'll also start tossing like you know hazards and other things to kind of get by. Over here we're our next enemy, which is going to be Cold Light. Amazing soundtrack as usual. So now as you can see, we have a, an invisible dude over here, right? Let me bring him down. I'm going to show off a little bit of the stage, and then what I'm going to do, I'm going to wrap up the video for my commentary. I would like to show you guys... Oh, good shit! I would like to show you guys the last boss. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to just do these off camera, and... Platform, Falcon, platform. I'll do these off camera and now we'll just show off the last boss like after the commentary ends over here. You get to see that and then, um, you know, that'll be the end of the video. But hopefully you guys have enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it though, description below will have... Let me go into my bat. Description below will have all the information you do need to pick this up. I, did, I do believe it comes out on April 4th, which is when this video should potentially be going live. So I'm um, just a bit of a heads up here for you. This is going to be a little light bridge here. You don't have to use the slowdown feature, but you can if you don't feel you can make it. There's also going to be some lasers down the line, if I am correct. Boom, boom. Oh, I got me in midair. All right, it's fine. Good evening, and welcome to the power core of Great Meals Industries. My name is Ori. I'll be your wonderful host for tonight. I've heard you've been running around bashing our performers. But I assure you, my routine is a real killer. Also, when you entered this room, it went into lockdown mode. Which means security's been alerted. And, most importantly, you'll have to stick around for the show. Please, save any applause or screaming until the end. Two down, ten to go. Then I'll keep going too.
I'm getting lost again. It's nice here, comfortable. Everything makes sense. In here, all the wrong choices I made turn out all right. But there's a silent reminder that all this is just my mind, forever voyaging. I need to get up. I must get up! For her.